Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Judge Magister Phoenix here, and welcome back to Sly 2 Band Feeds. Uh, now, I haven't actually uploaded a uh, video of this for quite some time, and I did intend for it at first to be a uh, sort of um, live stream playthrough, but I've decided I was, I was going to record it, sort of, you know, as an actual playthrough. And uh, if everyone likes it, then I'll continue to do it that way. If not, I will I will continue to live stream it, probably. I'm not quite sure. But it's one of my most favourite games in the world. And um, I want to continue doing a live stream of it. Uh, live stream? A playthrough of it. So we're on episode two here. And uh, sadly, I've already sort of gone through it. So we're going to have to watch the movie The Aha, which is the setup, which tells us all about... Um, Rajan, as you can see there, the picture. Now, just uh, just uh, before I, I do get into this, um, I recently uh, got a capture card, but I got rid of it because it just wasn't very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't very impressive to me, so I got rid of it in the end. Um, and I apologize for you only clicking in the background, I'm just doing something quickly. But uh, what I ended up doing, sending it back and sticking with the capture card, uh, now, uh, sticking with the capture card I already have, which is an easy cap, which obviously isn't the best capture card in the world, as we all know. But uh, it's the one I'm sticking with for now because, it, yeah, due to not wanting to waste money on a capture card, another capture card, it's seemingly pointless right now for me to go and waste money on a capture card. I don't see the reason in doing it uh, until I sort of really get into the whole YouTube thing and all that and pick up more people and such. So. I'm sticking with these cap card, but I'm not quite sure how the quality is going to turn out this video. I do hope it turns out okay. I do apologise if it's not the best looking quality. Feel free to tell me if it looks terrible. Please do not hold back your comments, honestly. I'd like to know. Uh, I'm not quite sure what else I could do, though, sadly. Uh, if not, I'll probably go to on to recording PC games again, like Age of Empires and such, until I manage to figure out another way of recording uh, PlayStation 2 games and such. But this is the capture card I used all those many years ago when I first started the channel and people seemed to find the quality alright then. Of course, times have changed. That was like 2009, of course. Capture cards and quality has gotten better. But anyway, let's continue. So let's watch the opening uh, of episode 2, the setup, and we get to hear about Rajan from Sly. Another clockwork part had surfaced um, in Now, India. I'm still going to talk so over the these cutscenes. The if people rather I didn't, please target. do tell me. A but uh, obviously this is a playthrough, so I'm going to I'm going to talk Rajan. over them. There's been plenty of a plenty of non uh, non voiceover playthroughs of this game that you can get watch. You know, market. I don't know if people watching this because they've played the game before, or uh, if they just want to watch it again for nostalgia's sake. But uh, hopefully you can he still hear Sly. I believe the the audio levels are just enough for you to hear me better than the game, but still be able to hear the game. Good God, that's creepy. True to form, he's holding a lavish I really do love these opening cutscenes, the way they sort of, you know, it's very, it is very heisty, you know, they sort of, the clockwork they're wings. giving you the background the of the, of the guy they're going after next, and they're sort of figuring out how they're going to steal his stuff, too late for you. and you get a little Especially bit of uh, background history there, good old clockwork, which I, I'd, I'd love clockwork to return to the series, I'm not the wings quite sure if clockwork prestige. did return and maybe they will. in Sly Thieves in Time, which I, I still really want to play, Sly Thieves in Time is the fourth instalment of this game, the franchise, sadly I don't have a Playstation 3 yet, so I'm aiming to get a Playstation 3 in the future when they're a lot cheaper, so I can play that game, it's, it's very frustrating, it didn't go multi-platform, but um, starry-eyed encounter, ah. Uh, but yeah, it's a, uh, it, it's a, sh what, what, blah, 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 blah. what, what, what am I talking about? I've completely, I've tongue-tied myself, once again, I, I seem to manage this all the time when I do these recordings, but, um, I definitely want to play that game, it, it, it is a shame that they didn't multi-platform it, I don't see why they couldn't have, but at the same time, Sly was a PlayStation trademark, is, is that the word I'm looking for? I'm not sure. Right, so we've got to scope out the palace. Oh yeah. So the snake over here. But obviously, uh, for those who watch the live stream uh, videos of this game, the first thing I do on any level is collect all of the bottles, which I know can seem kind of tedious, but it's fun to search for them. There is also uh, down here, as you can see, a uh, a treasure. So I'm gonna get the bottle first, and we'll pick up pick up this treasure. 
And his treasure is booby trapped, so obviously if we don't get it back to the safe house within the allotted time there, it explodes and we lose it. Not forever though, they respawn. But once you've collected them once, that's it. You can't collect them again. So the game's kind of nice in that respect. But obviously we need to uh, we need to get these goodies that we can sell them on ThiefNet. So that we can get some new moves. So what new moves have we got? We've got Combat Dodge, Turnbuckle Launch, Fists of Flame and Size Destabilizer. That one's kind of funny actually. That's, that's a lot of fun. Later on, Bentley gets a, uh, a version of that in, in the bomb form. So wow, that... That burial and certainly scored us some cash there. Um, ah, just four coins off of combat dodge. That sucks. Anyway, let's get back to this bottle hunting. So, usually I find all of these bottles fairly quickly. I remember the first time I played this game. I probably mentioned this on the last couple of episodes, though. Um, but when I first played this game, finding the bottles wasn't the biggest concern for me. I wasn't too bothered about collecting them. Um... But I, I believe the second time I played this, it could have been the first actually, I'm not, I can't recall entirely, but uh, finding the bottles was a, a, a real bugger, because it was the first time I've ever, 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 ever played the game, and like well, obviously being the first time I played the game, it was very confusing, where they were sort of all hidden, and it, would, it took me a lot longer to find them than it is obviously going to take me this time round, because... Despite the fact I haven't played this game properly for a year now, I think I think I played for all all three games last year. Um, actually, no, 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 it wasn't last year. Uh, I played through all three games back in Christmas 2013. I'm pretty sure that is when uh, the last time I played them. Just decided to go on a little slice spree, and uh, that's not good. It's lagging. Why is it lagging? Okay, no, it, it, is it lagging? I am. What on earth's going on here? <laughs> what are you doing to me? Okay, great. OBS is uh, OBS is having issues. Good old OBS. Ah, curse! Okay, apologies for that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sadly, OBS decided to have a little bit of a heart attack on me for some reason. Um, I'm not quite sure why, and I'm not quite sure why everything is stuttering now on the screen. Hopefully, that will stop soon. I believe I've missed the bottle. Uh, I think it's up here. Is it? No, no, no. It's down here. In the trucks! Quickly! Need to take him out before he alerts these guys. Luckily, these guys are blind as hell, so they're not going to see me. I don't even... I don't understand how they don't hear the bottle smash there, but apparently they don't. So, anyway. Dun, 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 dun. Smash! No! Why? Okay, right. Need this to pros. So there is another treasure up here, which I'll I think I'll collect now. And one of that. Wow, we've already got ten. Wow, I, I didn't realise we already had ten. But I think I'll collect it now, Comsa. And we'll take that back with us once I collected the rest of the bottles. I thought I heard a bottle there, but no. Obviously, Sly is a raccoon, so he's completely uh, impervious to fall damage. That, and he's also a cartoon character, so of course, they're, all, they're always impervious to fall damage. How do you people not know this? Uh, we're going to steal this rhino's loot, of course. Silver ring! Yeah, awesome! You don't actually get to sell them for much, but they're better than just collecting coins, that's for sure. Found your bottle. We're <laughs> up to 13 now. Good, good, good. Uh, that's actually a really unlucky number. Please, software, don't crash because I got 13. Whew. Aha. Found you. So these, these bottles are actually fairly easy to find. But of course, the first time I played this game... How old was I? I don't know how old I was. But yeah, I'm sure everyone knows what it's like the first time you play a game, especially when you're younger. You you really you do miss you do miss a lot of the the sort of um, all of the little niceties and all of the like all of the little items in the game. You just was like, oh, I, I don't remember that being there. I was like, oh, that's what that meant and such and such. There's always there's always 
that in childhood games, I find. Like in uh, Dino Crisis, for instance. I got Dino Crisis. My dad let me buy Dino Crisis when I was... Uh, how old was I? I don't know what... I really don't know what that noise is, but... um, I believe I was 10. Of course, this game is an 18. And yes, it's obviously now, I'm sure a 10-year-old will probably play Dino Crisis. But yeah, what's scary about that? Because sadly, that's the sort of society we live in nowadays. But um, obviously being 10 years old and PlayStation 1 graphics were the highest graphics at that time, sort of. Um, it was obviously really lifelike to me. I'd never played anything like it before. It was gory. Uh, you know, you had people with blood all over them and like half-eaten bodies and such. And yeah, that game, especially the bit when the first Velociraptor jumps down from um, the crates, that made that made me jump, run out of the room, and I didn't touch the game for a long time. That was close. Um, Actually, you know what? That entire conversation I was just having with you all there, I was about to say having with myself, because I guess I am kind of having it with myself right now. But uh, I'm completely confused as to what brought that on now. Oh, yes, of course, um, hidden items in games and such that you don't see when you first play them as a child. Uh, that, that, uh, in, in Dino Crisis, for instance, though, I never knew that there was loads of... Uh, there's three different endings, and I didn't, I didn't realise that. And I, I really wish more... It, it's funny how older games nowadays, uh, obviously past games like Dino Crisis, have sort of more interesting features, uh, more entertaining features than games today. For instance, I find the whole concept of having multiple endings like that of uh, Dino Crisis and you having to make choices, like in Dino Crisis, you have to make choices at, at multiple points and that influences the way the game ends, that influences the way the um, the way you play throughout the story. Uh, I find it funny how that game came back out in the 90s, I think it was the early 90s, and you have games today that don't even have those sort of features, and those are really bare bones features. If, if a PlayStation game has those features, then it really is a bare bone feature because it's a 90s game. You know, it should just be sort of a standard thing. I can, I, I can obviously understand that not every game out there should have uh, those that that sort of thing. Like I um have in uh, oh good he's looking at me. I think otherwise he might spot me. I'm not quite sure. 20, 22. What? Really? Oh man. I thought we were much higher than that. But it, I just. I find it funny, also at the same time frustrating, that PlayStation games like that have uh, more interesting, entertaining features than games today. You know, games today pedal graphics, they pedal really stupid gimmicks, and they pedal multiplayer, and that's about it. And it's that's, uh, I mean, I'm major, the majority. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not majority, majority. That's not the word. But I'm mainly a um, a single player game gamer. I'm a... Is that one? Yes, yes. I, God, I'm getting myself so confused. I do apologise. I'm mostly a single player gamer. That that doesn't make sense. I'm just confusing myself. And I prefer single game play. It's just, it's just much more entertaining for me. Multiplayer, as fun as it has been in the past when I've played it and such, it just... It doesn't be a good old single player storyline experience that you sort of go on an adventure with. And frankly, all of the multiplayer games nowadays are just the same trash over and over again. And I could very well do without them. Now, I am at a loss as to where the rest of these bottles are. Here's one. How many are we up to? 25. We've got five more to find, though. And I am honestly not quite sure where the rest of the <laughs> where these other five are. Could there be down? There might be one down on this balcony, actually. Or on these... Is that no, that's where we got that treasure. Oh, I hear one. We're getting closer. There you are. Gotcha. Okay, that's 26. May have to start not talking as much and listening out for them. There is one down there. Let's let the rhino go past. And we're still for him as well. 
Definitely want that loot. That loot will let us buy all of those sweet, sweet moves. Although, obviously, the, uh, did I? I haven't lost that, um, no, I haven't lost that treasure. I'm quite surprised. I've gone through the entire map and still to lose that treasure on, uh, oh, I hear another one. Where is it? Where is it? I hear it. It's down there. Is it down there or is it up here? I can hear it. I can't see it. There you are. Okay, that is 28. Getting closer now. Getting closer. Oh, got to be careful. We have the treasure. Since we're so close to the base. No, no. No, Cobra. You are not taking this treasure away from me. Since we are close to the base, I'm going to run this treasure back in. And then jump back out. Because I don't want to lose that treasure. So we've got two... No, no way. So we've got two more bottles to find. I'm going to start having to listen out. That's what I used to do. I remember when, uh, when I... Oh, good God. Again? Really, OBS? Lagging again? My God. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm having some real frame rate issues here. I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for this. Okay, I do apologize for that. Uh, no. 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 Just no. No OBS. No. Not, not having it. Not, not having it. No. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. I do apologize for these cuts and pauses in the recordings. I'm going to have to sort out what on earth's going on here. I'm really not quite sure why it's lagging. Because the funny thing is, I the settings I'm using right now are ex the exact same settings I used to live stream. And, um... Yeah, OBS manages to record and live stream at the same time with these settings and not lag. But apparently it can't record on it without... I, I honestly... I, I'm completely confused as to what's going on here. But I do apologise for all the lag. I hope it hasn't been too unbearable. I will sort it out. I'm still going to upload this video because... Frankly, I've been trying so many bloody times throughout this week to actually managed to record but I've just been having trouble after trouble with this software and this capture card and I'm not going to now just abandon this recording so I think I'm still going to upload this recording I hope it's still watchable I do apologize if it isn't utterly watchable but it's going up it's going up but as I was saying I remember the um the the time I went through this game and I decided I wanted to collect all of the bottles because I wanted to get all of the moves. And um, I managed to get most of them and then obviously had a few that I hadn't managed to get. And I was completely stumped as to where the bloody hell they were. So I think I, think I must have had three, two or three still need to collect. So my plan was to basically just listen out for them and I literally turned the volume up on my TV as, as loud as I could bear it. And then I just ran around the map, just listening for these bottles. Just going... Di, 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 di. And... Th yeah, there it is. I can hear it. And that's basically what I'm doing right now. It, it does work. It does work. He's right up there. I've got to be careful this guy, though. Alright, can I... Yeah! Just exploit the game mechanics. And we have 30! Congratulations! Da -da 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 -da. Puppy power! So now that we have 30, this concludes this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I do apologise for all of the uh, laggy bits. I really didn't mean for that to happen. But uh, I, hope you still uh, I hope you still enjoyed it. Please do tell me if the quality is watchable. For those of you that uh, watch my videos regularly. Because obviously I want to get the quality as, as best as possible. Um, hopefully I can sort this all out so that I can upload more. That's kind of why I haven't been uploading a lot lately. Basically, just issues with the capture card, issues with the software, issues with my laptop. But uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye. And there goes my phone. So until next time, goodbye!